Well, we know there is a lot of information and misinformation out there right now on coronavirus. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the Trust Index on something you may have heard being recommended using a device that measures your oxygen levels at home to detect COVID-19. Doc? Yeah, Kim, so the most common life-threatening complication of COVID-19 is when it affects your lungs. And since all the oxygen in your body comes from your lungs, checking your oxygen levels with a home pulse oximeter like this one might make sense. But should everyone really have a pulse ox at home? In the hospital, many people are put on a monitor called a pulse oximeter. It works by painlessly shining a special red light through the pad of your finger or even your earlobe and detecting how much can be seen from the other side. The light is absorbed differently depending on how much oxygen is being carried by the hemoglobin in your blood. The monitor gives you a number that's the percentage of hemoglobin with oxygen. For most people, your so-called oxygen saturation is in the high 90s. When you develop lung problems, the amount of oxygen in your blood falls and your oxygen saturation decreases. We noticed early on with COVID-19 that many of the people who would go on to become severe had drops in their pulse ox number below 90%. Pulse oximeter technology has become so common that it's now available in small devices that you can buy for use at home. They look like a fat clothespin that clips to your finger. Most of them will display at least two numbers, your oxygen saturation and your pulse rate. Now the fancier ones will also show a waveform of your pulse. So does it make sense to buy one for use at home? Well, if you have COVID-19 and you're not sick enough to need a hospital admission, it can actually be a good idea to monitor your oxygen saturations at home. If they are consistently decreasing into the lower 90s, that would be a reason to contact your doctor. But if you have not been diagnosed with COVID-19, buying a home pulse ox is of questionable value. You're more likely to have other symptoms that would lead you to get tested before your pulse ox became low. And in a generally healthy person, a low reading is probably an error. So I am giving this a be careful on the trust index. Now, incidentally, the average price is around 30 to $50 for these, but some models can cost a couple hundred dollars. And lastly, even if your numbers are normal, do not get a false sense of security. If you feel short of breath or you have other issues, you should still be seen by a doctor. Back to you. Absolutely. Okay.